Hello everybody, Bobo Swaggins here, we're back with it, and we're gonna be doing Tainted Isaac today, because I want to unlock good items, because we need good items, and these good items specifically are Spin Down and uh, Glitch Crown, <laughs> so they're pretty good, and they're also probably gonna save a lot of future runs as well, and I feel like it's better to have them early than to not have them early, so we're gonna get them now. Now, this is Tainted Isaac. We we kind of know how this guy goes, if you don't know. Well, he cycles through two items. He can only hold a max of eight items. He basically has built-in uh, D6, essentially, is how you could think of it. But he can only hold eight items. So you got to really min-max your build. Now, initially, we can kind of pick up whatever we want. But eventually, we're going to have to start trading out items. But that can also help us, because when we trade out an item, it drops back down on the ground like a normal item. So, there's big gamer ideas right there that you can immediately think of. Maybe you want to dupe something. Maybe you want to, like, and at least in the case of, like, Lost Soul, you can actually drop him, pick him back up, and he'll be active again, even if he died on that floor. So, there's a lot of gamer ideas. But anyways, how's everyone's day been? Hopefully, it's been pretty good. Now, if we want Spin Down, we need to go Delirium. And if we want Glitch Crown, we need to go Beast. So... There's a little bit, a little bit, of a split there that causes a problem. Now, hopefully, we can get an Arky. Because if we get an Arky, we can do both in one go. We'll see what happens, because this is going to be tough. Um, maybe we'll have a sacrifice room on this floor, because we do have a rainbow poop there. And that would be pretty pog. It would be pretty pog if we got the a sacrifice room, get some angel items early on, get our DPS sorted out. Not secret room right there. Good to know. Okay, so there's nothing. I mean, I was kind of expecting that with the layout of the floor, but you know, I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer. I'm still a believer that we can still get something cooking here. Now, we have the shop here. Shop, if we found Depopia, there are there is big money moves. There's big money moves to be had. There's compass in here. I do kind of want a bomb donation machine. Because, listen, I like compass, but I also like habit, but I also like 15 kills equals a charge. But I think we should, we should take habit. Jumper cables, that's like, you know, it's cool. I just think habit is going to let us game a bit more, because if we need charges later on, we'll have something. It's not like we have sharp plug yet, but if we do get sharp plug mixed in, we could be gaming. Well, that was, uh, hey, at least we saved ourselves some damage going out. Pop this. Thank you, Rainbow Poop. I appreciate you. And we're just going to keep moving. Now, we kind of want a gun for birth right here because... Okay, well, you're dumb, Bill. <laughs> uh, we want a gun for birth right because that's going to add four extra items we can hold on to here. So it's pretty, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of necessary. It's kind of necessary to make Tainted Isaac good because this guy... I feel like a lot of people go, Oh, Tainted Isaac, he's so OP. He he's definitely not. He's definitely not. Because only holding eight items. Listen, you can get a good build going. You can't get an OP build going unless you get really specific items. Because there's only so many eight item combinations that break the game. Now, Rock Bottom, for example, would be probably the one item we can pick up that would make us like just get OP no matter what. Because at that point, so long as we're holding Rock Bottom any items we pick up and push us past our old stat cap is just now permanent stats so you know we gotta cook a little bit though for that rock bottom's not easy to run into i think something we're probably gonna gun for is probably devil deals now hp ups are actually really good to pick up especially early on because the good thing about hp ups is that when we pick them up we don't lose the HP when we drop the item back down. So we will keep the HP up, no matter what. Any item that does that that gives you something, you will keep. So it's very important we get items like that. So like, for example, if we got Pyro, you know, the thing that gives you 99 bombs. That would let us keep all 99 bombs, even if we immediately dropped it right after. I want to be careful here. I don't want to lose my Angel Deal chance, because since we do cycle through two items... Angel deals are pretty important right now. Almost broke all the urns in this room. Still got nothing. Balls of steel. Pretty good. I will gladly take balls of steel. Don't hit me, please. I don't need that. Emotionally, I don't need that. 
I would like to get a good trinket here as well. Probably something like petrified poop, but I always want that. But, you know, getting money is a good thing. We want to have infinite money on our hands because, listen, Diplopia is that big of a play. Because if we're able to drop whatever item we want, that means we can dupe whatever item we want. So, down the line, if we say got Brimstone, we could force double Brimstone if we wanted to. Now, is that the best idea? I should not have picked that up yet. Is that the best idea, though? Maybe. I mean, double Brimstone is nice, but when you can only hold eight items, is it that nice? I mean, I, I kind of, not really. You got to think of things that are going to give you maximum DPS. Because, listen, you're going to need it with this guy. And I'm not, like, shit-talking Tainted Isaac, and I'm like, this guy's just hot dog. Like, he's fucking Blue Baby. No, he's not Blue Baby. He's he's pretty good. He's okay. I think he sits in the middle of the road in terms of, like, characters. It's just, you know, he does have some kind of big flaws. You are, you are, you just suck. Dude, these spiders are cutting me off like it's goddamn traffic. Get out of here. Okay, get these flies away from me. I might have to sacrifice the Eternal Heart because I'm a big dum-dum and I picked it early on because I was like, Mmm, HP, don't mind if I do. Because I want to go play that sacrifice room. But maybe we'll get some soul hearts here. Maybe, potentially. Maybe like another balls of steel pill. Get me in here. We have a key. Uh oh, we have, a, we have to make a choice. I'm going to make a choice for the item room. Or sorry, we're going to go shop. We're going to go shop because listen, we could get another key in here. Box of friends, it's interesting. Black candle, it's massive, but it will only get rid of curses when we're holding it. But there's no other way to get money here. So for now, don't care. I buy the other key because listen, we might need it. We might get another key down here, but it'll still be nice to have in the future, probably. Can we like chill? These spiders are giving me a lot of trouble right now. Now, we should also gun for Boss Rush and Hush because he does have unlocks for them. I just don't remember what they are, so they're probably not that good. Uh, yeah, bomb into this. Holy shit. Come on, does it hit? It hits. That's what we're talking about, baby. Grab all that. Now, we go back up. I'm a believer. Go up to item room. Go back up to sacrifice room. We will have to end up sacrificing this eternal heart. It is what it is. It is what it is. Go over here. Oh, it's Hemolacria. Hell yeah. That's good. That's, oh my god. If we get homing, holy shit, we win the game. This is probably one of the few combos that could work. Because this item is basically Cricket's body. And a lot of damage stacked into one item. So, if we get, like, Sacred Heart, that's all we would need. That's, like, one of the few two-item combinations I think would actually just win the game. Well, we didn't get our Angel... Which is fine. I do want to get the key pieces, though. We should hit again so we can go in the boss arena. So run out of this room. <laughs> run out of this room. Go to boss arena. Hopefully, it's an HP up. We should be able to kill whatever it is in here anyways. It's safety pin and damage. 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 Because damage is big right now. Because Hemoacria does a lot of DPS for us. Now, the one thing we want to gun for here is piercing tears because piercing tears will absolutely send hemolacria's dps into the stratosphere it is simply that good of an item as you can see we can almost one shot the little odds oh my god chill chill my god bro okay we need to we need to do offset shots on this guy oh god i hate when he does that chill brother chill brother I don't even know what I'm saying, brothy. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> we got a dime. It was worth the stress, I think. Debatable. Uh, secret room. You're up here, probably. Probably. That's what we're talking about. Bombs, don't mind if I do. Super secret room, I would like to invest in you. We almost lost it all. We're back in business. Sometimes you gotta take those high-risk plays. Was Jesus Juice worth the high risk? Probably not, but we did it anyways. Grab this, grab this. Glowing hourglass, probably a good idea too. Because then we could force planetariums, but we, we need more money. So hold on. <laughs> so we need to hold on to that thought for a second. 
Where's super secret room? Is it over here on the right? Yes, it is. For sure. I should have seen this room in the first place. It's a tell. Those two urns, they give it away. Uh, there's good stuff in there. Now, you might be looking at the timer and it's like, we're never going to make boss rush. Have some faith. We have Hemoacrio. Things will start speeding up very quickly. We just, we're playing a sacrifice room. These kind of things slow us down. Ow. Okay, it was worth, probably. Okay, we are definitely going to play for the key piece then. Because we can kill this guy pretty easily. And now we have our key pieces, meaning we have higher deal chances, more eternal hearts, meaning more HP. HP was probably never going to be an issue, though, honestly. We have plenty of ways to get more HP as Tainted Isaac, especially cycling, cycling two items on the boss deals. It's, it's fine. You know, you would never run out of HP. I feel like he's not the kind of character that has that issue ever. Book him. And I take. And we are leaving. We are leaving. Now we have to go a little bit quicker. We could play this Blood Machine. Go back for Glowing Hourglass. Then continue. I'm going to do it. Because I, I think getting a Planetarium item is going to be clutch as well. Because if we get something like Terra, it's easy. It's an easy Dubbington. And if we get blood back here, that would be cool as well. Okay, I'm not going to play this anymore because we we don't have time. We do not have time. This is not the kind of run where we cook. This is not the kind of run where we cook. Blowing hourglass, we move on. We got this. Easy peasy. Little horn, we just got to now kill things as fast as humanly possible. If we do that, we should make boss rush still. It would help if we get an angel deal here and it's good. Maybe that's what we're talking about. Ooh, Immaculate Heart. Immaculate Heart, yes. We continue. That helps out because Immaculate Heart will fire out the tears around us. And then those are going to be Hemoacria tears as well. It's going to be big. It's going to do a lot of extra DPS for sure. Keep moving. Uh, let's go down. We definitely need a compass or something. We already saw compass in this run, I think. So... That's probably off the table, but you know what? We might get treasure map. Who knows? I'm really hoping we get, like, birthright. Birthright would be the biggest one. But right now, we just need to run as humanly fast as possible. I know we might end up skipping an item room here, which could be uh, bad. But boss rush? Listen, I don't want to worry about it with this guy. He moving. Hook him. I'm going to check out the shop. If it's birthright, we sit around and cook. It's BFF. Don't care. It's nothing important. That's the important part. Keep moving. We're going to miss item room. We just need to make up for some lost time right now. I know it's like whatever. It's whatever. It is what it is. I was really hoping we were going to run into it. And then I just glow an hourglass out if it was bad. Hopefully it was not godly. Old bandage is quite good. Drop the HP. We pop into here. What's in here? Mom's knife. We need it. I know it's like, oh, but you, so you, you said mom's knife boring. It is boring. But it's good. And we already have the key pieces. Um, old bandage. Do we drop anything? <sighs> uh, stop wasting time. Whatever. Um, this is going to be weird. So I don't know how this actually synergizes with Hemoacria. It might not at all. It probably doesn't at all. But this is going to up our DPS a lot. And i that's what I care about. This is not the kind of run right now where we're like, Oh, oh, mom's knife. Ooh, iwi patui. I'm here to make boss rush, man. I'm just trying to make ends meet. Bomb into here. I will take my key back. Thank you. Okay, we should make everything on time, theoretically now. I hope so, at least. I mean, we have Mom's Knife. It, realistically, it's almost impossible we don't. But I've seen worse blunders. Um, let's go right first. Right first. We do kind of have uh, absolutely garbage gear rate when it comes to firing out the knife at any meaningful distance. But it is what it is. Okay, chill. 
I don't need all this damage. Sir, I'm gonna need you to like come back out and die. Keep moving. I'm actually, you know what? My booty hole is puckering a little bit right now. I feel like we're gonna be, it's gonna be really fucking close. So long as we can get in the boss room within the last 15 seconds, we'll kill her in time. Almost certainly. Kidney bean, don't care. It's all garbage. I was gonna say glowing hourglass out, but one, we already walked out, and two, we already have the planetarium chance. It won't go any higher. Go in here. Kill the man. Uh, consolation prize. It could give us a consumable, so I'll pick that up first. It gave us tier rate, but I, I don't really care. Nothing. Don't care. I mean, Guppy's tail is quite good, but we are... We're tainted Isaac. We can't hold that many items. And it's like, you're skipping all the shops. You can't even get birthright. I know, man. I know. But I'm making up for lost time right now. At this point, I think we can actually kind of check out this fort. Because it should probably take us only like two minutes per four right now. We'll see. It is kind of sad, by the way, that... Okay, well, I'm just going to glowing hourglass out. Fuck that. I'm just going to bomb through and see if this is even worth. It is potentially worth. It's a dead end. It is, in fact, a dead end, so I don't care. So now we're just going to bomb through. I'm just being tactical with the time here because some of these enemies are really fucking, like, time sinks in general. Like, that pins, you got to wait for them to come out. Those spiderlings as, like, mom's knife, it kind of stinks. Listen, they take way too long. I've made mistakes in the past where I waste my time on simple enemies like that. It's better just to use some bombs. I don't really care about the deal chance right now. I mean, I do, but I don't. Give me my HP back. Keep moving. HP. Shop. If you don't have birthright, I don't care. The Popia is kind of massive. The Popia is kind of massive. Uh, give me coins. I'm begging you. I hate you. There's a coin in here. There's literally a coin in here. Um, yep, we're grabbing the Popia. Goodbye, glowing hourglass. You were good while you lasted. It's just too good. We can drop something down the line. I don't know what we're going to drop. For example, I don't know what two mom's knives do. I don't think I've ever stacked that before. Because why the hell would I? Well, this is awful, too. Okay. Really glad our item rooms are just not even there. They may as well not even be there. Keep moving. Pop into here. Okay, whatever. God, man, why is there spikes in every room? Get out of here. I'm just trying to be quick. I'm not trying to die. Oh my god. Why does it gotta be you, man? I just don't have the tier rate right now to be firing out mom's knife at any meaningful distance. Uh, growth hormones is quite good. We could swap it out for old bandage. I, I still picked up the wrong item. It's impressive you like this, Bill. It, it honestly takes more skill to do that. You had a 50-50 chance to fuck up, and you even went for the item, and you still messed up. It's incredible. Go up here. Item room. There's pins in this room. We made it on time. I just don't like how we made it on time. We grab more HP. It's good for us. We keep old bandage because it has a godly effect of giving us HP when we get hit. Mom, hurry up and drop your goddamn hands. I I'll take a dime for two keys. That's pretty much an exactly fair deal. HP up, shot speed down. I don't know how much shot speed actually helps out Mom's Knife. It might give it more range, technically. But listen, our range is already dog water, so I don't think it matters. It's really just the tier rate. If we had higher tier rate, it wouldn't matter that our range isn't super big. Because we would be able to just launch it out super quickly anyways. Okay, pill. Puberty. Future HP up, I like it. My god. Chill. Where is the planetarium, man? Come on, you gotta be kidding me. 
had a planetarium chance. I probably skipped one accidentally because I didn't fully explore the floors, obviously. But listen, you got to do what you got to do when you want to make boss rush. Uh, shop's over there. We have time. Like I said, it's only going to take like 15 seconds to kill her. Shop. I mean, I'll check up there for planetarium too. Woo, baby. That's what we're talking about. Okay, birthright. Massive. That's absolutely insane to get on the final shop there. I mean, we were going to go hush, so it's not like it's a big deal. But, yeah, that's that's pretty big. To be honest, we might not even get Arky in this run because, listen, we, if we're going to go hush, we can go Delirium no matter what, and we can unlock Spin Down no matter what, which that's... I don't know. I feel like Spin Down is definitely better than Glitch Crown. I know some people might be like, that's insane to say. Listen, Spin Down is very easy to use, especially if you if you have external item description, no shit. By the way, I, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't test, but can I dupe Birthright? I didn't test, obviously. My bad, but we don't keep transformations, do we? Oh, we do. I'm a dingus. For some reason, I was thinking we don't keep transformations when we drop the item. I guess books follow that rule. Do conjoined? Because I feel like if you lose the babies, you lose the transformation. But maybe I'm wrong. You do when you get things like Guppy and Leviathan, right? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to be honest, which is weird. I should know that. So. Huh. I do wonder if duping Birthright gives you an extra four set of items. We have sci-fi in here. That's a no-brainer. Come on, we're going hush. I could have duped items in there, but I didn't see anything else worth grabbing. I mean, we could have just picked up another sci-fly, which is funny, but completely unnecessary. Like, that really wouldn't do much, because sci-fi already blocks, like, 90% of the tiers that are going to hit you. It's like, oh, yeah, but you could have picked up another one. So they can both miss the same tier, probably. Because they're all going to gun for, like, the same tiers at the same time, more than likely. I don't know how well it works when it's duped. I guess it's a good, like, you know, example. I, I don't know how a lot of the dupes work in the game. I think I've said that before. I just haven't duped them a lot. Like, I don't know how Mom's Knife dupe works. Does it just give you a second knife or doesn't work at all? If you get Brimstone, obviously you get Mega Brimstone. You don't get two Brimstones. Maybe Mom's Knife is just two kn knives? I, I would assume there's at least a synergy for two Mom's Knives. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm clueless. I'm in the dark. I do think it would be a good idea if we can maybe get, like, Wafer or something in this run. But I don't know how we're going to do it. Because, listen, we're taking a lot of damage. We don't have to rush as hard anymore. But we do have a very close, impersonal build that probably makes it likely we're going to take hits throughout the entire run. No matter what. And it's mostly because of the range on this. Because the range is just dog water. Okay, cook him before he can do any annoying attacks. If we had, like, Tooth and Nail, too, that would be really good. Because then we could just get up in their faces when we're invulnerable. No sweat. I mean, it works with any invulnerability item. Because you hold the knife out regardless. Just like, uh, Spear of Destiny. It just stays in one direction. Or it stays in the default, which I think is just down. Hook the man. We're taking a lot of damage. It doesn't matter. There's HP on the floor here. Give me a good item here. Give me like Polly or something. Don't pick up that. Mm, that's going to be hard to avoid. God damn it. I get hit by a fucking spider. You stink. Man. I tried not to pick it up, but I was like walking towards it. Uh, we grabbed Scorpio. Probably the best thing there. We could have picked up Experimental, and if it was bad, we just, like, ignored it. We're going down. We are saving this Diplopia for when we need it. I'm not, like, ignoring these items. Like, oh, you could have gotten two items. At some point down the line, we're going to start dropping items again, right? And then I can dupe something that I, like, very specifically can target. Which I still don't know if it's, like, going to be Mom's Knife. Because I am kind of curious about it. I'm curious about what it's going to do. Because I don't know. It might be, it might be literally nothing. I'm going to be disappointed when that happens. 
I do wish we had a mapping effect right now. Even just, like, blue maps so we can figure out where the boss room is more than likely. Uh, we might be able to get to that judgment. We still should collect some more money and keys here. Because, obviously, we're going to need the keys to open everything in Hush. And I do think, by the way, I am going to just go straight to Delirium. Hopefully, we get an R key so we can come back and do Beast. Meaning, we are not going to do the positive. But, keep in mind, there is no unlocks for the positive and stuff. There is for Mega Satan. But, the Tainted characters in general, they don't have unlocks for the more general marks. Like, I don't think there's anything for Mom's Heart. There is for Boss Rush, Hush, and the other stuff. Like, the newer Repentance stuff. But they don't have marks for everything. Because, I don't know. They're weird like that. They're just built different. This room stinks, by the way, without flight. Butter? It's awful. Um. I mean, let, let's clear the floor a little bit more, too. I want to get more money. I want to get some more keys, for sure. We only need eight. And we have plenty of time. It's not like it's going to take a lot of time to kill the boss. Whoever it is. Five keys. We can get three keys on the next four. It'll be fine. And we do have Diplopia too. So like if there's something really good in the shop and we can't buy it. Obviously we can still just, you know, Diplopia and get it for free. Um, We're going to take Stapler. More damage is godly with uh, Mom's Knife. Pentagram, more damage, I will take. Thank you very much, we're going down. So now we can start dropping items again. Do I dupe mom's knife? I don't know. That, that question's still up in the air. I'm just scared of the implication that it might not do anything. And even then, if it's only two knives and nothing special, kind of lame. Which is half what I'm expecting because that's just how mom's knife is it has very boring synergies pop up here cook them don't touch the spikes like a dummy i want to maintain the deal chance because we could get brimstone and we get brimstone mega brimstone with mom's knife i wonder if that works because mom's knife and brimstone obviously works but does mega brimstone work i feel like it probably doesn't but maybe it just fires out more knives? I don't know. We have all the keys we need. Now we just need to go find the boss. Careful here. I hate this room. This room stinks. It's rare too. Ugh. Oh my god. How did I not get hit? Jesus. Yeah, this room does stink. Okay. We're good. More keys. That's a low weight room though. I feel like we never see that one. But I have seen it before. Well, there goes our deal chance. It is what it is. Is this the second invulnerable champion we've run into? They're pretty rare. Why are we running into so many invulnerable champions? Pretty sure old bandage just spawned an eternal heart, by the way. I find that concept, like, insane. That's such a rare chance. Because, I mean, we have the key pieces, but still. That's crazy. We got puberty. Noise. We're doing really good on the HP. I'm okay going full HP build here because we do have old bandage on us still. And we might the entire run. Okay, well, chill. God, these spiderlings, man. It's like it knows I don't have a good build to fight them. It's crazy. Like, I can't do much to fight these guys. I just gotta, like, sway back and forth and hit as many as possible in one go. Dude, get out of here. My god. It's crazy. Uh, break this. I'm not really worried about the HP, by the way. Like, we're going to be fine in the hush fight since we have Sci-Fly. So we're going to be able to stay pretty close and just hit him constantly. We're not going to be, like, in melee range, but we're going to be pretty damn close. Magician, we take that. That's going to help, too. Because then we'll be able to sit offset when it's, like, we're getting forced out by Continuum or something. Is that another invulnerable champion? Dude, these guys are supposed to be rare. That's two on one floor. What? I don't understand. Okay, she's dead. Nothing. I mean, duality, but we're not going to get any more deals. Okay, so we go down. 
We have all the keys we need. We got this. We don't have a lot of bombs, so we might not get crawl space, but that's okay. PJs for sure. It's not even. It's a no-brainer. Okay. Max HP. Um, magic eight ball. Is there anything worth dropping? Not really. But we get the card. Card might be better than magician. Nope. It could have been like a strength card, you know. Almond milk is awful. N never. N never. Uh, Loki's horn's quite good, though. It's not that good, though. It's good, but it's not that good. Pop in here first. Well, I think we know what we're picking up. What do we drop? What do we drop? Old bandage? Old bandage. Not getting fruitcake is disappointing as well, too. Um, it's, it is what it is. It's fine. I mean, we could have duped there, but I am going to dupe Mom's Knife because I am, I am curious. I am very curious. What happens? We go Habit. Oh my god, is that 2020? Wait. <laughs> okay, one is a damage multiplier down. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is, is this just the same thing, but one has less damage? I don't know. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take mom's knife. This is a science experience. I don't know. This is a science experience for us. Is it two knives? Okay, we fire out two knives. It's like oh my god, we're, wait, we're firing out three. What? Wait, we're firing out three? No, that was bookworm. Never mind. No, we're firing out two. So it was the same item, but one was worse because it would have been a point eight. Uh, multiplier to our damage which is bad okay well there you go we know now do i take loki's horns honestly well, let's see let's see because it when you have loki's horns and mom's knife they're always up if i recall are they always up yes they are i mean i mean come on bro that's the beyblade build look at that <laughs> Okay, give me a crawl space. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck you, too. Any bombs in here? Nope. Anything else we want? I do want treasure map, obviously, but it's just not an option. Okay, so we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna cook the man. We are gonna go delirium so we get spin down. And we pop this as well, because why not? If we get really close, do all the knives hit when they fire? I don't know, because they're not all firing. Ow! Damn! I kind of underestimated how close I was. Die fly? I need you to, like, absolutely cook for this fight. But then again, we are killing him quite fast, thanks to Cricket's head now. We do have a lot of damage at this point. Okay. I mean, we can just kind of like stand here. They're not going to hit us more than likely. And yeah, they all did hit basically. That was pretty cool. Yo, I don't need all the damage. I mean, we're killing them pretty quickly. That's mom's knife for you. Probably one of the more interesting synergies you can get with mom's knife is what we have right now. It could get even funnier if we had Ludovico, because then we would actually have a Beyblade. At that point, it would look insane. Because it would straight up be like a fucking star of knives constantly going across the screen. Soul of Isaac. Oh, yeah. Soul of Isaac is a good unlock. Holy shit, that's the best rune in the game. I even said the hush unlock wasn't going to be good. All right, we're going to go get spin down. Because this is spin down, right? I think so. I do think so. Give me our key and I will uh, I will be happy. Improved backdrops is in causing errors. That's rare. Uh, hold on. That's not good. I don't know why. I, I haven't changed anything. Oh, well. It'll probably be fine. I'm just going to blame Repentagon on that one. Uh, there is a cursor on the screen. I don't know how to get rid of that. Unfortunately, you're just going to have to bear with it for now. <laughs> Can I hit escape? Nope. I, I don't know. I don't know it's there. Hold on. Let me put it in the corner. Just, uh, get over there. Yeah. It's not even following my cursor exactly. Like, it's like... Repentagon. What is that, man? 
Um, well, I guess we just... We could go into Delirium immediately. It's not a big deal, right? Ow. Well, I, that might have been unavoidable. Well, I think we just go into Delirium immediately because... We have the most HP we probably will have. But at the same time, we also got to find it. So let's just enter random rooms. Because we'll kill the boss no matter what, too. It's, uh, Satan. Bro does not know what's coming. Bro does not know what's coming. Okay, th those guys are dangerous. Bro literally got one tapped. Okay, cool. HP? Probably grab HP. It's, it's probably the better choice. We can drop Black Candle at this point, too. So, next item we get, drop Black Candle, because now it's not going to do anything for us. Curse is already gone on this floor. And it doesn't do anything besides give us more deal chance. Which obviously is not going to happen. This is the only problem with this build right now, though. Is it's just like, we're getting hit a lot because I, I have to line up with the enemy. That's why I wish I had built-in homing. If I had Sacred Heart right now... Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That would be good. Okay. Well, this isn't Delirium, but we'll kill him anyways. Pop into here. Okay. Well, I don't think this guy can even touch us if he tried. Okay. Eternal Heart. It's an extra hit. Oh, well, I guess we have more damage now. I didn't know what the other item there was. I didn't see it. Like, it flashed on my screen for a second. I'm gonna go with it. It was probably bad. My brain says I saw Mom's Bra, so I'm gonna be okay with this result. Sharp Plug Eye Drops. There's nothing I really want to drop. Hemolacria gives us damage, right? I think it does. Let's test. Yeah, it does. For sure it does. Oh my god. The damage multiplier. So we're keeping Haymolacri on us. There, I'm gonna need you to die. Imagine if the knives actually split like uh, Haymolacria tears do, though. We would actually... I, I, I'm pretty sure Delirium would die in one hit. He would die in one fucking hit. There would be no chance of survival. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Not anything in that room. Grab the HP. Go into here. Void portals. You know, I really don't care about them anymore. Back in the day in Afterbirth Plus, those things were the spawn of Satan. Now it's just like you see them, you're like, oh, well, whatever. Those things used to be so bad, man. I, I still can't believe they were ever added to the game like that. They could spawn on floor one, room one. And they would fuck you up because they, take, they actually have quite a bit of HP to them. And they would keep spawning enemies until, uh, until you killed it. Actually, I think they did have a mechanic where they would eventually, like, despawn. But it, would, it took a while, right? I might be, like, gaslighting myself on that one. Let's go up first. 9 volt? Or a dark heart? I mean, we take the dark heart. Dark heart, it's simply better. And anything else we want? I don't think so. Go down. We fight probably delirium here. Yep. I figured it was going to be delirium. I could just kind of tell by the room. It was going to be one or the other. My only thing here is it's going to be hard to hit him, but he doesn't have that much HP when you, he's in his normal delirium form. So this form doesn't actually have boss armor. So you can cook him really quickly. So that's why I wasn't super worried about it. If we just run at him in that, he dies. But it was also RNG, because if he doesn't go in that often, we were going to be in maybe a little bit of danger. Okay, so I am going to clear the rest of the floor here and see if there's anything. If there is absolutely nothing, I cut ahead, and you will know, because I will be like, there was nothing. <laughs>
Man. Health down. Luck down. Something's wrong. None of those pills were even good. That's bullshit. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I checked the entire four. You can see it. I got secret room, super secret room, super secret room was just pills, secret room was just a couple chests, it had nothing. There was nothing in the other item rooms either, it was all just HP and tears up, but hey! We got spin down dice. That's pretty cool. Uh, good run for Tainted Isaac there, he actually got a lot of the annoying stuff down. But he's gotta get... That's the dice bag? Samson's lock? Or I think that's what it's called. I don't know what card he unlocks, to be honest. I don't know if that image... Does that image... Okay, I don't, I don't know what card that is. Yeah, I don't know. He also gets a Mega Chest on Mega Satan, which I guess makes sense. So, we'll get that done in the future. But having Spin Down now in the Secret Room item pool, it's going to let us gas up some runs. Also, Soul of Isaac. That's good, too, because that's essentially a Dice Shard. It's going to be good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that run, and I will see you on the next one.